actual took off though. Yeah. Did you did you understand that it would do that or it was just a risk? I'm gonna throw this on YouTube and see what happens. Man, I, I thought it was really good. Mm -hmm. And when I do a special, it takes a while for it to, you know, I have recorded probably three or four specials before that one. Mm -hmm. And it was like, no, it's not special. Mm -hmm. So Domino Effect, the first one, I knew that it was, I knew it. It's it's like the first album I put out, um, Talking Loud, Saying Something. That's my reasonable doubt, you know? So I knew once I put this one out, I knew it. I, mm -hmm. I had that that feeling about it. I was too excited about it. And it, it it didn't have any flaws to it. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing when I look at something, I don't want it to have anything that somebody can grab onto, like, but but what about this? So mm. when when that happened, and then somebody said, well, what's the rest of the story? I said, what? Like, what happened after that? I said, you want to know? So they, oh, so you mm. had never even planned to make it no, all a series. Of it, to keep mm -hmm. on going with a series. When somebody asked me <clears throat> about what happened after that, and I said, okay, well, I stopped at 16, so let's do from 16 to 19. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then we get the, we, we did the first, we did two, and then I said, yo, let's finish up how I even got incarcerated. People know I was there, but let's see how I got there. Yeah. And then we we did three, and we recorded three and four in D.C. at the same time. So we did um, two shows on that Friday and two shows on that Saturday. So four comes out Father's Day. So yeah. we strategically um, <clears throat> put one on Mother's Day, one on Father's Day, and four is two hours long, you know, versus the 130 that we I've been doing. Um, and it's getting to the pinnacle of how what I went through while I was inside, and how did I get jovial to come out and want to pursue comedy? So after this series, <clears throat> we're gonna start another series called In the Shadows, which is the the walk with me doing stand up, getting mm. ready, it, it, being in a public, in a public space, trying to be private because I'm on parole, and on parole, most people don't realize parole people we try to stay out the way because we know anything can get us back incarcerated. So now you're trying to fight for your innocence from a disposition of being incarcerated. Mm -hmm. And incarceration is, is um, especially mass incarceration, is is crippling a lot of, it cripples a family. Because it's, it's, it's wear and tearing on a family. And yeah, it's not I, just you. It's not just you. Right. You know, people think that, it, my mom was locked up right with me. You know, Dang. and and because I'm there, and she's concerned about me every day. It's like when somebody go to jail, my my <sighs> Nikki would always say, well, "Why you always go get Trey out of jail when he locked up?" I said, "Man, because something can happen just by being in there." Who is Trey? Oh, Trey is Trey is the oldest Trey's, boy. Okay. okay, yeah, 